With millions of fans around the world, the Metal Gear franchise has become one of the most popular series in the history of video games. Metal Gear, for me, was the genre that introduced stealth to me. But how did Metal Gear begin? How did Hideo Kojima and his colleagues bring Solid Snake into 3D? And what is the future for this beloved franchise? Keep your codec tuned to this frequency and you'll find out. The Metal Gear saga started in Japan in 1987 when a young game developer named Hideo Kojima decided to build the world's first stealth action adventure. The original Metal Gear was a hit and spawned a sequel called Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake that was released in Japan in 1990. The series was dormant until the mid-90s when Kojima and his team began work on a new Metal Gear game for the original Sony PlayStation. Metal Gear Solid was released in 1998 and the game was a smash hit around the world. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty was planned as a follow-up for the Sony PlayStation 2 and was released in 2001. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, also for the PlayStation 2, was released in 2004. And now, 20 years since he first appeared, Snake is back in a brand new global adventure for Sony's PlayStation 3 called Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. Metal Gear. The name goes hand in hand with a cutting edge state of the art gameplay experience. The mention of the very words conjures up thoughts and images of stealth, cunning, rich characters, and tactical espionage action in the minds of any gamer. One of the things that strikes me is just the fusion of these memorable characters with really deeply compelling gameplay. The series is so renowned for pushing the envelope of 3D console-based gaming that it's sometimes easy to forget its humble beginnings as a 2D stealth action game for the MSX2 home computer system. Inspired by his love for Hollywood action movies, Hideo Kojima gave birth to one of the most memorable franchises in video games. Released by Konami in 1987, Metal Gear follows the story of an American Special Forces soldier codenamed Snake as he infiltrates the military stronghold Outer Heaven. Initially armed only with his wits, Snake seeks to find and destroy Metal Gear TX-55, a nuclear-armed walking tank designed to be the link between infantry and heavy artillery. Despite becoming one of the most recognized video game characters ever, players still know little about who Snake is. But then again, that was all part of Kojima's plan. As Snake makes his way deeper and deeper into outer heaven, getting ever closer to Metal Gear, he's aided by his commanding officer, Big Boss, via codec. Snake also utilizes an assortment of different weapons and helpful items unique to games at the time, including a silenced pistol, conservable rations, and even a player-guided rocket launcher. Despite the technical limitations of the hardware, Metal Gear features the same outside-the-box innovation challenging but rewarding gameplay, plot twists, boss battles, and puzzle solving that can be found in the most recent entries in the series. However, perhaps the most memorable aspect of the original game is stealth. Before Metal Gear came along, I always wanted to run headfirst into combat like Rambo. At the climax of the original game, Snake destroys Metal Gear only to find that his commanding officer, Big Boss, is himself the secret leader of the sinister Outer Heaven. The now hostile relationship between these two characters will become a staple of the Metal Gear series, 
as will the subtle social commentary on the role of the military that is left open to interpretation by the player. Metal Gear fared well in Japan, but in North America, the game was a huge success. This drove Konami to produce a sequel for release exclusively in the West, known as Metal Gear 2 Snake's Revenge. However, this game was made without the consent of Hideo Kojima. Initially, Kojima-san did not plan on making a sequel to Metal Gear, but fan support and the creation of Snake's Revenge prompted him to revisit the series. The result was 1990's Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, released exclusively in Japan. Ignoring the events of Snake's Revenge, Metal Gear 2 follows the continuing adventures of Snake as he's sent to infiltrate Zanzibar land. Along the way, Snake discovers that his old adversary, Big Boss, is the man behind this hostile nation and that he has built another, more advanced Metal Gear. This time around, Kojima delved further into the characters, explored complex political and military themes, and improved the enemy AI, making it more challenging to remain unseen. This was also the first game of the series to use cinematics to deliver crucial plot points, an imperative element for future Metal Gear games. Metal Gear 2 also introduced new characters, including Colonel Roy Campbell, Snake's new commanding officer, Frank Yeager, otherwise known as Gray Fox, who is seen briefly in the first game, is discovered to be a defector and a traitor who Snake must battle in a lethal fist fight. Upon the destruction of the new Metal Gear, Snake is confronted again by Big Boss and defeats him with a makeshift flamethrower by combining an aerosol can and lighter.